Hey guys, Jonathan was out here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How is it going? I am here to preview the action for week four in the 2015 NFL season. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins, a game that's going to take place on Sunday in London. It is our first London game of the year. The Jets come into this game 2-1. and one. The Dolphins come into this game a disappointing 1-2. and two. A lot of people obviously expected more out of the Dolphins this year. With everything they got with the Dominic and Sue and all the other changes that they made, they expected their defense uh, with with Sue and and Cameron Wake to be this dominant force, and we have yet to see it. Miami has not looked good uh, defensively at all. Uh, it was, of course, the rumor a couple weeks ago that Nadamik and Sue was getting, getting uh, frustrated, was kind of doing his own thing. Um, and, uh, meanwhile, Tannehill had continued to play decently, uh, until last week. He threw inter- three interceptions in last week's game. Meanwhile, you look at the Jets, and the Jets, like I said, could be this game 2-1, and one, maybe a bit of a surprise so far, but he, you know, and Ryan Fitzpatrick has, but Ryan Fitzpatrick has looked alright. He threw three interceptions last week as well. Um, but... I said it last week, and I'll say it again. I think you can only go so far with Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, I know that it's was said, it's been said that he is going to be the starter, uh, even after Geno Smith heals from his injury. But Ryan Fitzpatrick, there's only so much you can do with him. Um, you're not gonna go deep in a playoff run with him. I don't think he's he's that kind of quarterback. Um, a big loss, for, or a potential big loss on Sunday for the Jets. It could be Eric Decker. They don't uh, plan on having him, from what it sounds like. At least the last time I'd heard, they don't plan on having him. Um, he's out with a knee problem, so that is a, a huge target. Uh, still gone for Ryan Fitzpatrick. This is the Jets' first ever trip to London. Uh, the Dolphins have done this before. Dolphins did this last last year, actually. Uh, they went to London and... and beat up on the Raiders, but uh, the Raiders team from last year and the Jets team from this year are two totally different animals, and to be honest, I think this game is ugly, because I think one team is considerably better than the other right now for one, and the game is in London, okay, and I have nothing against London at all, and and at first I thought it was awesome that the NFL was trying to, to expand to to that, but let's be honest, for the most part, the London football games have been a lot like the NFL, the Thursday night NFL games, which the Thursday night NFL games so far this year have been really good, but in years past, they haven't been. Same thing goes for London. The London games aren't that good. I don't think teams love it. I think, I think they say they like it, and I think maybe some of them do. But I think some of them also say they like it just to keep from getting in trouble by the NFL. So uh, the London thing isn't necessarily working. You shouldn't keep adding games. Um, for those of you who are interested, by the way, don't forget, though, that that game takes, starts at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time on uh, Sunday because of it being live in London. So, anyway, I don't think this game is pretty. I really don't. I think that the Jets have a chance to clobber the Dolphins here, to be honest. And here's another thing. I think Joe Philbin is done. And I think that's, I'm not, I don't think I'm saying anything secretive. I don't think I'm saying anything, whoa, he's going on on a limb. I don't, I, I think most people think that, uh, including me. I, Joe Philbin is done. He has not had coaching material. Uh, and it's it's not working. The Dolphins are, are not paying attention. And if the Dolphins don't start doing something amazing suit with all the money that they spent, I could see Philbin out by the end of the year. And I don't think they're going to do anything amazing on Sunday. I've got him falling to 1-3, and, and the Jets getting the win. All right, we took a loss in Thursday night's game last night in a good game between the Ravens and the Steelers, um, which to me had some questionable, questionable play calling. At the end by Pittsburgh on a couple of fourth downs. Uh, game went in overtime. That was one of the fourth downs that I had questioned. At the same time, when you have a kicker that is struggling like Josh Scobie is, I guess I'm not totally surprised by it, but it did come back to bite them. We have the Steelers winning. The Steelers lost that game to the Ravens. It was a 
pretty good game as most Ravens Steelers games are. I said it was going to be close. It was Ravens win 23-20 in overtime. So with that loss, 0-1 on the week, obviously. 26-23 and on the year. Remember, we're still trying to bounce back a little bit from the 4-12 and record that we had in week 2. And we are 795, 468, and 3. Also, in week 3, we are coming off of a 13-3 and record for those of you who are interested in knowing that. So, don't forget to like the Dance Fortress page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links, as always, will be in the description. And that is going to do it for me. I am Jonathan Mozart for Jam Sports 100, the Jam Sports Show. And this has been a preview for the Week 4 matchup between the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. And I will see you guys later.